Hi, I'm EXO and I'm on a journey to becoming a DIY guru. If you're looking to enhance the look of your outdoor living area, there are a few factors to consider, like making sure that your high traffic areas are built with hard wearing materials. But if you're a DIY enthusiast, you can still be creative and use your own personal touch. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make your own paving blocks. This is a simple DIY. To make the molds, you need a sheet of plywood with an 18mm thickness, a jigsaw, a drill driver with the applicable bit, a pack of 3.5 30mm screws, silicon and corking gun, a set square, pencil, a ruler and some sandpaper. So first off, I've taken a half sheet of plywood that I had lying around and pre-cut them into 300 by 300mm squares as well as two strips that are 300mm long and 80mm high and another two strips that are 340 by 80 millimeters. This will give us a paving block that is 60 millimeters high. And I've also given them a light sanding so we get a smooth finish on the pavement. So starting with the 300 millimeter pieces, I'll use some 30 millimeter screws to attach the sides to the base, making sure that the sides on the outside edge are not placed on top and that the sanded side is facing inwards. Attach the 340 millimeter pieces to the base and the edges of the 300 millimeter pieces. So the box is done. Now I'm just gonna run a thick bead of silicone around the inside bottom of the mold. This will give us a chamfered edge on the paver. Now leave the silicone to dry completely. Otherwise, the wet cement is just simply going to squash the silicone. Now I'm gonna make two other molds the same way, instead of making one paver at a time. That's it, three molds done and the silicone is dried. Let's head outside and mix the cement. For the actual paving blocks, we will need some cement powder, river sand and water, as well as a wheelbarrow and a spade for mixing in. A packet of cement dye and I've gone with red oxide, a trowel and a rubber mallet. Now I'm using a 3 to 1 mix, which is 1 part cement to 3 parts sand. I prefer mixing the dry material first before adding water to ensure we get an even mix. I'm going to add the cement dye at the same time. There are a few dye colors available. These pavers here are made without any dye. Now slowly add water and mix. And you can see how the dye immediately changes color. I purposefully want a slightly runny consistency to ensure even coverage within the molds. So the cement mix is ready. Time to get it into the mold. But a handy tip here is to paint the inside of the mold with some cooking oil. Makes it easier to get the pavers out once they've dried. And now I can start putting the cement into the molds making sure that as I go to gently shake the mold and work it with the trowel and a few taps of the mallet to help get the mix into the quarters and release air bubbles. Right, now let's take these, put them somewhere level, leave them to cure for at least four days and we'll be back. So four days ago, I made these pavers and they feel firm. So it's time to get them out of the mold. Just gonna use a rubber mallet and give them a bit of a knock on each side. This helps the pavers to loosen from the frame and then I can unscrew the sides. Now look at that, the pavers are done. And as you can see, the silicone we put on the inside has given us this nice rounded edge. So these are ready for the garden. However, I would suggest leaving them to cure for at least a week before walking on them. Now you can use the same molds to build more pavers, in which case all you need to do is give them a light sanding and apply another bead of silicone. A simple DIY, inexpensive and very easy to make. Now remember, everything I've used today is available at Builders, in store or online at builders.co.za. And for more how-to videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done. <laughs>